Hi everybody, Stephen Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Sky Adventures. If you remember last time, we spent two episodes making a cake. Well, making cake bases. The cakes were actually easy to make. It's the cake bases that you can't use for anything else other than the second recipe for making cakes. Yeah, this is all just boring. Uh, so, uh, what we were doing, guys, is, is we're working our way through the quest book. If you remember, uh, I'm, I'm working on a pig iron chicken over there. I've got him up to 10, 10, 10 already. We're going to start uh, mating, mating, breeding that chicken with a couple of other chickens very soon, as soon as he's all ready to go. I'm probably going to make him lay a couple of 10, 10, 10 eggs first so I can use those. Uh, but anyhow, uh, if I look in the book, I was flipping through the quest book to find find out where we would uh, where where we bleh, where we should continue on, and I noticed here that there is a thing for the transmutation tablet which I made, so we're gonna quick complete that. Hopefully, it didn't take it from me. Nope. All right. So that's another quest done. Didn't realize that there was a quest for the transmutation tablet, but I should have realized that there would be, seeing as it was one of the more difficult things to make. Do I have any of this other stuff yet? Uh, these goggles are re revealing look really familiar. Let's look at our can't be transmuted. <laughs> we claimed the builder. Oh, uh, we got another enchanted book, guys. Uh, where is it? Slip touch. Decay. Enchanted book of decay. It applies wither to the target. So that's that's kind of cool. I can put wither on the end on, on me enemies. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of those stupid, amazing Technicolor glasses. They're not amazing at all. They're stupid. They're stupid! So let's take a look in the quest book. And we got the tech tree. We got automatic... Mob farm we're going to work on later, guys. Later on in, in the series, we are going to start working on some fancy mob farm stuff. And we're going to use all of this stuff. Uh, the storage solutions, you know, we could probably work on quite a bit of this. Uh, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to. Look at this. Search quartz crystal. Really? Look at this. We can, I, we have, we have, we have, we have quartz crystals. Uh, Certus. We have Certus quartz crystals. All right. So we can claim that one. Quick complete. Gives us a loot crate. Now we can make a charged Certus. Pure Certus, a charger. All right, let's see. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's drop this in here. Seven hundred and seven. That only gave me a dollar. One dollar for that. And <laughs> four more sixty-four k me storage shells or fluid cells. I've got three of those already, so we're gonna dump all four of these and take all the EMC. Get us up to four million. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. All right, so what do we want to do, guys? What do we want to do? Do we want to continue with this, or do we want to keep going on the tech tree? You know what? Let's keep going on the tech tree for now. Uh, and let's let's do this line right here. Uh, so let's go on, and we'll make ourselves first our basic redstone furnace. Redstone. Usually in most other series, I would have built this already. Redstone furnace. It's made with two copper gears, a reception coil, two bricks, a machine frame, and some redstone. Easy peasy. So we go gear, two copper gears. Uh, we're going to need a, a brick. Two, three, four. We're going to turn this into one of these. And then learn that. There. So it was two of those. A reception coil, a machine frame. Reception coil. A machine frame. And some redstone, was it not? And redstone. Boom. Make it for me. Redstone furnace. Now we don't have to use the coal no more. We got a whole dollar for that. So let's go lay that down over here. With all of our other machines. 
Uh, firstly, okay, you don't have anything on you, so you can go there. Can I just turn all these off? Uh, I just wanted to see if you can upgrade this furnace as well, because this, uh, this is a, a basic furnace. Oh, there, go off there. Okay, so redstone furnace. How many do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So let's put a thing on that one. So we have ourselves a, a, a nice redstone furnace. I should really look into upgrading these wires too. So we can drop you on there and huh. redstone furnace. All right, redstone furnace, all ready to go. Pop the money into our wallet and see what is next in the book. Next up. Induction smelter. Okay, we can do that too. We're just going to do all of these. We're going machine crazy, guys. Mm. Oh, that's a good coffee. So, yeah, I, uh, I think I mentioned to you guys about my back, how I injured my back. Well, I went up to the hospital uh, after recording the previous two episodes. Uh, I, I edited the first one, and then I had to go to the hospital. And I spent eight and a half hours sitting in the waiting room. It was the worst, guys. And I'm from a small town. I can imagine uh, huge cities. Uh, okay, but we, we were doing an induction smelter. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, though, guys. Uh, I pulled something, a muscle in my lower right back. Induction smelter, basic. A couple of copper gears, a redstone reception coil, and an invar gear. Okay. So we need two copper gears. We need an invar gear. Oh, wow, I, I went right for the invar gear. I knew right where it was. A uh, reception coil. I, uh, I'm going to assume a machine frame as well. And then did I see two pieces of sand? And then what? Oh, that's it. That's it. I actually grabbed everything that we needed. So there we go. Induction smelter. Move it over. There's our basic induction smelter. Guys, we're just flying. We're flying. Let's see how many of these we can do today. What are we at? We're seven minutes in. We've already completed two machines. Induction smelter. So let's, uh... I just want all these off. Now we have an induction smelter. Don't know what we're going to use it for, but we've got an induction smelter. Just keep all our money up here. It's actually, I mean, with all the wires like this, this actually looks kind of neat. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it give it like a, like a, like a neat kind of look? Look at it. Look at it! Look at how nice that is! It's going to be all funky and fancy. You getting some power? We're getting some power. Okay, so what are we up to? What's next? Induction smelter is done. We did the magma crucible, so now we are on, on to the phytogenic insulator. I have no idea what a phytogenic insulator is. Something to do with plants. I would assume. Infuses plants with sun and RF. Okay. Freaking simple. All this stuff is really simple, guys. Whee! Alright, so let, let's see how fast we can make this one. Whoa. What was that? Okay, uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> let's look at this again. It's, uh, that's aluminum gear. Oh, do I have aluminum gear? I do not have aluminum gear, so let's get some aluminum. I know I have aluminum ingots, and four makes gear. I 
should be able to just drop that right in there. If you work, okay, you work, good. Now you can see I, I changed all my chests to diamond chests. I did that a few episodes back. Just so we had, uh, I think I explained that to you guys anyway. So gear, it was two copper gears. It's a machine frame, of course. Uh, two pieces of dirt. And then I think it was a reception coil again, was it not? It's always a reception coil for these things. Oh, come on! <clears throat> go slower. Go slower. Go slower. I don't care. Just go slower. Anytime, Lumium. I, I'm pretty sure Lumium is not going to mix with anything in here. I cleaned this out, but you can see, guys, everything else in here is, like, under a nugget. It's less than a nugget's worth of stuff. Lumium stayed at four. Perfect. One Lumium gear coming right up! Incredibly slowly. I, I do like the, uh, the animation effects on that, though. Look at that. It looks like a liquid sort of coming. Uh, dry. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice! So we're going to have to learn this. Lumium gear. I'm just thinking right now... I didn't learn my machines. Um, phytogenic insulator. There it is. Right there. Phytogenic insulator. Quick complete. Five dollar bill. Uh, so I gotta do something over here, guys. And I feel like an idiot. I didn't put those... new no flag connectors. No flag! Let's grab a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, god, I didn't do it with this one either! Alright, so we're gonna have to break these, guys. I feel bad about that. But we didn't, uh, we didn't transmute them. And it's a good idea to transmute them. Uh, so we're going to start with the redstone furnace. And then we're going to do the induction smelter. Okay, it gave me two. And then we need the phytogenic insulator. And it's showing me two. I don't care. I don't care! There we go! Okay, it's all learned now. Now we can put all of this stuff back. So we'll start with the redstone furnace. And I'm gonna have to do all of this again. Turn them all off. Because I don't want anything accidentally going from... transferring from the two machines. So, phytogenic insulate. uh, sorry. And then the induction smelter. Same deal. Turn you all off. And off. And now the phytogenic insulator. Same deal. Turn it all off for now. I've never used a phytogenic insulator. I don't know what it's used for. Do we have recipes? No? Are there recipes for this thing? Information. Infuses nutrients and light into plants using redstone flux. Not exactly organic farming. Left's block can be locked to only contain specific items. Gloriously incandescent. Okay. Alright, well, I suppose we're going to have to learn how to use that at some point, so we'll worry about that when the time arrives. So let's put some things on top. Connect them all up. One... Two, three, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at that, that looks funky, that looks so funky. So let's toss our cash up here and see where we're at in the book next. What are we at? We just did the phytogenic insulator, now we have an alchemical imbuer. I don't know what that is. Alchemical, alchemical what? Imbuer. 
What does that do? Brews potions. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this one looks a little more... Does it have to be hardened glass? It has to be hardened glass. I think we've made some hardened glass already, though. And a brewing stand. And some Constantan gears. Okay. Some new stuff. New stuff is always good. Constantan. I know we don't have any Constantan gears. Well, I'm, at least I'm pretty sure we don't. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm going to drop some Constantan over here. So we can make a gear out of that. And then we are going to need uh, a brewing stand, which is uh, some cobble and a blaze rod. That's easy. Cobble. Three cobble. And a blaze rod. It's funny we haven't made one of these yet. And a blaze rod. There's our brewing stand, which we're going to pop in here. Brews. No, brewing stand brewing stand and then the recipe also requires uh, a redstone reception coil and some hardened glass hardened glass I knew we had some any block glass hardened okay and we need a machine frame Machine frame. And then we come over here and check and make sure that our stuff is ready. Constantan, four ingots, beauty. Here we go. Looks like the sun is going down. Another day coming to an end. Our eight minute Minecraft days. Constantan uh, cools pretty quickly. Grab two Constantan gears, and that should do it. That should make us our alchemical imbuer, which we are going to learn before we forget. Alchemical imbuer, take it out. Claim it in the book. Look at this, we're getting this done so fast! It's going so fast! Arcane and Sorcerer, I don't even know what that is. Arcane what? Arcane and Sorcerer. So what do you do? Oh, you make potions. That's right. You make potions. Let's turn all these off until I need them. Okay. And we might as well wire you up as well so you have some power for when I do need you. There. Does that look funky, guys? That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? That looks cool. Maybe we'll move the uh, the fluid extractor and the grindstone over, like, over here, where there's no power or something. Or maybe over here. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll move them somewhere. We'll move them to a place where we don't need power. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, uh, let's... You want to try for one more, guys? We're at 18 and a half minutes. What is this uh, arcane and source later required? Arcane and Sorcerator. What does it do? Creates magical tomes and scrolls. Yeah, we can definitely do this, guys. Let's let's do this right now. Let's make it. Let's make it. So we're gonna need two Constantan gears. Uh, we're going to need uh, two lapis blocks and a machine frame. Is it nine for lapis to make a block? Or is it just four? It is nine. Okay, and we're gonna drop that in there to learn it. Lapis, lapis block, we need two of those. The machine frame, the reception coil, frame and then we need a an enchantment table which is a book some obsidian and two diamonds so book obsidian 
Have I told you guys how much I love this transmutation table? I love this. I, I know it's OP, but I freaking love it, guys. This thing is great. Uh, and then two diamonds. Alright, so there, there, make it. Enchantment table, which we will drop in here to learn. Click on here, Arcane and Source later, and there we go! Let's learn that really quickly. We did it, guys. Arcane and Source later. Let's claim it in the book. We almost got this whole run done. Maybe we'll try to finish that next episode. We'll try to get this entire run of uh, of these uh, thermal expansion machines done. Did I, did I claim it? Yeah, I must have claimed it. Let's go knock it down. Turn all this stuff off. All these machines. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do! We're gonna need a... Redstone, uh... Redstone thing. An LV wire... Connector. Drop her right on there. Closer flag. Oh, oh, that one's obstructed, so we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to figure something else out here, guys. We're gonna have to figure something else out for this. So we'll we'll uh, we'll work on that next episode. So when you come back next time, uh, we do want to set up those next two chickens. So we're gonna be working on that so that we can get our draconium chicken and our night slime chicken. Sorry, guys, I'm stretching. Mm, I'm trying to stretch too much because my back is. Messed up. <laughs> but anyhow, guys, thanks a lot for stopping in. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, this is Stephen Flagg. I'll check you later. Nothing smart ass to say today, eh, Flag? No, no, you're in too much pain. Okay, go away now.